What up, what's good everybody? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. It's been a little while since I've done any kind of video content whatsoever on the channel that wasn't podcast related, but here we are. Um, if it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a thumbs up if you're excited about the news. So Fightful Select has confirmed that Lady Frost has officially signed with Impact Wrestling. It is officially an Impact Wrestling knockout. We've seen her in Knockouts Knockdown. Where she, where she had a really, really good match with. I believe she uh, took on Ellering on that on that show. And uh, she she was on Impact a couple times. Once against, against Deanna Perrazzo, completely jobbed out. Once against uh, uh, Savannah Evans, pretty much jobbed out. Got a little more offense in. And I've been saying on the podcast, yo, Lady Frost is a star. She is not a, you know, bring her in for a set of tapings, have her just work a match. Bring in a local competitor if you want someone to just come in and job out. You know what I mean? But Lady Frost... She can do some moves that a lot of women don't do, and um, I've been a fan of hers for a little bit now. Like I, I really dig the signing. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen, and the knockouts division has gotten pretty strong pretty quickly. It used to be a complete shit show not that long ago, and uh, you know even though they've lost Taylor, Taylor Wilde, even if temporary, we don't know if it's temporary or permanent. They've uh, they filled in the gaps pretty quick with um, with her with Lady Frost that is Masha Slamovich and the inspiration. And uh, as far as Masha Slamovich goes, Lewis has swore uh, swore by this girl uh, for a while, and uh, she 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 can definitely go. I wasn't familiar with her until he was always, you know, Impact should bring in Masha Slamovich. I was like, who? You know, the Snoop Dogg gif. Um, but she's she's pretty good, and uh, Frost is great too. My only concern, you know, it's minuscule. It's Impact's going to bring her in as a baby face, push her as a baby face. Like she's not one. Uh, she should be a heel. You know, when they had her do the the angle with Savannah Evans and she was, like, cowering to her and stuff. Like, dude, that's not Frost, man. Frost is a badass. So, you know, hopefully they can do right by her. I think now that she's a part of the company, they could come up with a really cool entrance for her. Because, you know, I've been talking a lot about the entrances being very bland, boring, same camera angles. You know what I mean? Like, they have an opportunity with this one to make it a little, like, Taya Valkyrie-esque. Uh, I don't mean the Taya with the you know the the hip hop song with the one before uh the when she used to wear the crown and there was a smoke and all that like they could do something very similar for her so uh great news great news for knockouts vision remains to see how they will handle her but i i fully believe that she should be uh she should come in as a heel i don't think that's what they're gonna do but looks like she did choose it over nwa and she was doing good stuff on nwa nwa uh you know, you guys know at one point I thought that was just the most amazing promotion. Uh, Post pandemic, it's it's been pretty bad, but the the women's division's been pretty cool for them. And she's you know she's been one of the reasons when she when she you know is in the on the tapings and everything. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm your boy BQ. I'm out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about Lady Frost. I'm out.